Yeah, human knights were getting some work done. Yeah, and then you played a one one match against me, and I lost horribly. Uh, Those are both played on the big TV. <laughs> oh, they were. Are you doing, are you doing oh, that no. Right? So thanks, Chris. <laughs> You, you played the video where I beat him in Pioneer, then you played the video where I lost against him in Back to Back. Oh, no. <laughs> well, they were just in order. I mean, they're, they're next to each other for uploads. So. Yeah, I know, but... Yeah. You can tell with me, because I was wearing the exact same shirt, and I, was, I was in those videos. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's your work shirt. You come right here from work. That's right. No, I was wearing my, uh... Oh. I was wearing a different shirt, actually, yeah. Because I, I think that day I brought a shirt change with me for once. I couldn't actually use the other videos from that day because they were recorded not with the camcorder but the computer. Gotcha. And the screen wobbled too much. Oh, when people like bump the table or whatever, it yeah. wobbled so much it wasn't really watchable. Well, at least so. I hope you get one video from that. Yes, I, two. Two, actually. I appreciate that. That was cool. Yeah. Much appreciated. Make the trip here. I mean, it's fun to play anyway. But if I'm gonna make the trip, because it's a it's a it's a decently long distance, like getting some games in as well. Yep. Oh, well, I'm hoping you are, my friend. Yep. Well, here's one more game. Woo! Da, 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 da. Uh, Ula's Temple versus Infect. In before it dies to Stormtide Leviathan. <laughs> yeah, if I get Stormtide Leviathan, I think you're screwed. I do appreciate. There's a so I play Vintage, and a long time ago, uh, one of the cards in your deck, Inkwell Leviathan, was played in Vintage because it's an artifact creature, so you yeah. can get it with Tinker. And back before Blightsteel Colossus was a card. Inkwell Leviathan was what you got with it. It's it's so silly. All right. All right. You want to cut? Yep. Dude, you're good. Oh, that's like about a hundred bucks. All right. Oh yes, yes, yes. High roll. That's right. My uh, my, I have my RPS cards. Rock paper scissors. Here. Yeah, sure. What's that fun? Yeah, yeah. No. Let's go for it. Do something a little different, right? Yeah. Well, now we're recording now, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, we're, we're recording. Okay. All right. I'll let you pick. Oh, I need to pick first, actually, so that I can't... Alright, so here's mine. Which one's yours? This way we can't tie. That one. Alright, go for it. Um, nom 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 Alright. <laughs> there we go. You on the play, then? Yes, I would very much like to be on the play. Alright. Throw my cards all the way across the room. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Five, six. <sighs> I can already tell, folks. It's going to be one of those days. Six, seven. Hmm. Mulligan. <laughs> YOLO. I'm going to keep. <laughs> this is not a smart idea, but I'm going to keep it. Um, there's an alternate world where I made this card right here into Ponder, where I could I could keep this and this would be no no problem. But I have his Ponder, so... Yeah, he has my Ponders, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Oh, good, good old... He, was, he had to be a nice person to let me use his ponder because he, he wanted to play no bandless ponder. It's worth ponder. it, dude. It's worth it. You're, I appreciate that you're getting to. I throw, I threw the overwhelmed apprentices at you. If I could find fairies next time, I know I have some fairy seers at home. I'll let you. I think have. I have a couple fairies. I don't know if I have the specific ones you mentioned. Yeah, the the one man. Oh, you're good. The yeah. one man. Uh, scry, uh, scry two. So that, that way you can hit your creatures with quest. You know. Six, seven. Uh, yeah, I'll keep and I'll put. Uh, uh, this on bottom. Okay. Actually, I'll put this on top. Um, it doesn't. Well, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It normally does have to go on the bottom. You know. You, oh. you know what? You know what? You got it. It's in your hand. Pretend it's in your hand. Yeah, All right. Those. Free mulligan. This is casual. This like isn't a tournament. All right. I'll Keep go that in mind, everyone. Fetch. Shock. Uh, go to 17. <laughs> uh, I did you didn't that. see Sorry. it. Sorry. Now we put this where people can see it. Hey, there we go. Blizzard Herald. And, uh, my counters if you need them. I'm going to cast a Noble Hierarch and then I'll pass the turn. Okay. It's a, zero, it's a one mana zero. I remember one. what it does. Yeah, yeah, you do. Bop. Drop turn. Let's see. Uh, Modern Masters. Island, tap, quest for a simple, go. There it goes. There it goes. All right. Uh, I think I know enough about your deck to know that this should be safe. Listener Elf? Yep. The namesake. Noble Hierarch, yep. <laughs> turn two, Listener Elf. Um, and then pass the turn. Right. Untap. Upkeep. Yep. Quest for a little simple. Creature. Uh, so there's one counter. Uh, for the people. 
Oh yeah, yeah. It's a Muslim wonder, right? Yes. Two. Okay. Uh, and then Island. Let's say. Uh. So uh. I will play blue to play on Mausoleum Wanderer. Yes. Uh -huh. And then I will pay blue yes. to ponder. Uh, ponder's good. Yeah. Top three, and then you can decide to either shuffle then draw, or you can put them back in any order you choose and draw. Whichever one you prefer. Alright, so I shuffle, I can shuffle then draw, or yes. draw then shuffle? Shuffle then draw. You, you draw always will come last. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to shuffle. Mm. Was, if you don't find any cards, like... There wasn't a creature, so I'm was, shuffling. Yep, yep, perfect. That, that's exactly when you want to do it, then. You can also use ponder after ponder to... Like, if you put the cards on top, take the one you want, but you don't want the others, you can use the second ponder to shuffle those bad cards away and draw. Or you could fetch, and you know, all kinds of stuff. It's it's fun. You can use your scry creatures, like Overrun Apprentice, to scry them down. <laughs> However you want to do it. There's a bunch of ways to make ponder better. <laughs> Draw. Uh, Alright. Uh, combat? Okay. Attack, two exalted triggers, so it's a 3 3. three, three. Oh, sorry, because of an exalted. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, that creature gets plus one plus one. I'll block with no one. Alright, no effects. It just yeah. <laughs> gets hit by a bus, that's all. Um, pass turn. Alright, untap. <laughs> yeah. Upkeep, check. Creature. Hey, Thrumming Bird. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thrumming Bird. Uh, you can explain to the people what it is if you want. It's a one mana or a two mana one one flyer. When it deals combat damage to a player, proliferate. Well, conveniently. <laughs> yes, actually. And hmm. am I gonna, am I going to lose to a storm tide to Leviathan? <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion I might. Uh, I will put my final bird. Okay. And uh, I'll pass. All right. This sounds like cattle decapitation. It does, doesn't it? Uh, combat. Okay. Three? Three? Yes. I'll take it. Um. I shouldn't have taken it. Omaiwa. No, shouldn't they? Alright. Uh, no, you're, you're good. That's no three. Need. No need! Alright, uh, I think All I right. have. Main two? Five. Hunter? Yeah, I have three infect counters. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I took yours. I'm gonna shuffle. Little, little late there, buddy. Little bit late there. Where's your foil, Laurel and Ponders? Nine eight. Uh, me? Yeah. I don't, I don't think I have but one foil Lorwyn one. Oh, you, you also don't want to buy them either. <laughs> yeah. Things uh, are expensive. Well, the foil Lorwyn one. I mean, because they're Lorwyn, they're old enough. Yeah. They, the foils won't instantly turn into Pringles. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you are you are right. They are expensive. Because they're the ones with the, the boobs. Yeah. Yeah. And because, you know, we're all really mature. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. You should, you, after this game, you should show them the picture of the uh, Judge Promo Bitter Blossom. Oh, God. <laughs> I think they're pretty. And I, I think it's kind of silly that people get in a, in a fit about them. But, you know, that's just my opinion, man. Is that your turn? No, no, no. We're uh, we're gonna cast a second glistener elf. Okay. And I will now pass the turn. All right. All right. Upkeep. Net. Yeah. That's uh, right. Well, now we're in trouble though. Uh, island. Yeah. We're actually about to lose this game, Mark. Really? Yeah. Uh, Assuming he plays this correctly. Because I I know his deck. Mm. Uh, pay blue. Overwhelmed apprentice. Top two cards. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh no, no, it's scry two. It's scry two. No, each opponent. Oh. oh no, each opponent mills two. You scry. I mill. Oh. You scry. It's okay. It's okay, dude. It happens. 
Uh, so yeah, mental misstep scale up. No problem with those. So you do it. Mental misstep right now of all times. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, tell you something later, but it, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, it works out actually. Lou? Yes. Quest for Ula? Quest for Ula's Temple. Dear God. Okay. Lou? Yes. Quest for Ula? <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I will swing at you for one in the air. I can't, I can't block it. 16. And then... Proliferate? Yep, and then... Proliferate? Proliferate, yep. You can put an extra counter on anything that has a counter on it. Well, no, no, no. They have to have at least one counter for it to work. Gotcha. So it works on this one because it already had a counter. It won't work on those. Yeah. And I'll pass, because unfortunately, I don't have any chaoses in hand. Oh. At the beginning of each end step, if there are three or more quest counters on Quest of Ula's Temple, you may put a Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or Serpent card from your hand on the battlefield. Do you have one? No. <laughs> no! Okay, okay. Alright, well... So You're that lucky. Happened. That happened. You don't, you don't have one. Okay. Yeah, I am, I am indeed lucky. Alright. Yeah, I feel that. Take two, go to 14. And this sounds like Gojira. Gojira! I don't forget that's a band, not just someone <laughs> just saying Godzilla. <laughs> All right. Scale up. Going to turn one of them into a 6-4. Okay. So, this one gets to be Godzilla. The listener Godzilla. Godzilla Elf. Uh, combat. There's a 1-1 one, one and a 6-4. Gee, I wonder wh which one we're blocking. Hey, that that kind of makes sense, just a little bit. Um, groundswell on the one that was not blocked? It's plus 4, plus 4, because I had a land enter this turn. Okay, so I take 7 impact counters? Uh... Well, it it, w it would be five, one plus because they they don't get exalted here because they attacked two of them mm -hmm. instead of one. Oh, okay. So it would be five. Uh, so I got it. I got a kick vines of basswood. Dang it! I'm sorry. If, now this is a very different game if he has one of his kraken though. Yeah. Yeah. Like literally, <laughs> next card. <laughs> next card. No. Then what I got a plume veil, and then what was next? A roamed apprentice, no. throwing bird, ponder. Can you imagine if Ula, if Quest for Ula's Temple said you could get it from your hand or deck? Can you imagine? How? That's what Gro that's what Grozov is for. Yeah, yeah. I just add a bunch of chaos in my hand and I just go off. Game two? Would that be cool? Yeah. I don't have a sideboard though. Yeah, fair enough. I won't go to sideboard myself. It'll be cool. But this time you'll be on the play. I will be. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if he was gonna make it. I wasn't sure either. That was. You're, uh, I was, okay, so I've got a, I've got a card suggestion for you. It is a leviathan called, I think it's called Waker of Waves. It is a 7-7, seven, seven, uh, creatures your opponent's control get minus one, minus oh, and normally it's like seven mana, but you play Quest for Atlas Temple, so that you don't care about that. The part we do care about, though, is that if it's in your hand, you can pay one blue, mm -hmm. discard it, and then you can look at the top two cards, one goes in your hand, the other's in your grave. So if it's in your hand and you Isn't don't have... Isn't that cycling? It kind of. It's not quite cycling because you don't just draw the card. You get to look at the top two and pick which uh, one goes in. Yeah. yeah, they don't really have a mechanic for that. I, don't, I right. guess they're veil, but it's a, like a forced... You have to put one in your graveyard. Yeah. And it's not a slot of hand because that forces you to draw one and put one on the I mean, I guess it wouldn't count as cycling anyways. It doesn't have the keyword. The reason that card is good is because if it gets stuck in your hand and you don't... Like, normally you can't cast Storm Tide Leviathan because it's like nine, it's like eight or nine mana, right? It's yeah. It's expensive. With this, if you don't have enough mana to cast it and you don't have Quest for Ula's Temple up, it at least does something. You can use it to kind of like draw through your deck. It's it's not fantastic, but it does something when it gets lodged in your hand like that. So it's it's maybe I'll I'll see if Chris happens to have any. You can you can throw it. It's it's super cheap. It's like an uncommon. No one plays it. It's got to be really. How many would you suggest them? Four. Because they did you know because they filter through your deck to find quest for Illus Temple. Is it a rare method? It's just an uncommon. An uncommon. What's yeah. the name of it? Waker of Waves. The set. 
Oh, uh, I want to say it's M21. I think it's the corset, but I wouldn't swear by it. It's in the same set as Pursuer of Whales. Uh, or Pursued Whale. The one with Moby Dick. <laughs> it's in the same set as Moby Dick. Breaker of Waves? Waker. Like, wake, waking up. Like, that kind of wake. I'll try this hand. Okay, give me just a quick moment. I will take a look. Oh, yeah, we're keeping. All right. You're up? Yep. In before turn one quest. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Oh, no! All right, let me see. Yeah, it resolves. <laughs> Sad. If you have a zero mana counter, I'm going to be mad. Modern no, modern no ban list, or no ban list modern has one. It's called Mental Misstep. And it only counters one mana spells like that. <laughs> but I don't have it in hand, so. Uh, yeah. All right, so we're going to start off with a card called Once Upon a Time. If it's the first spell I cast this game, I don't have to pay its mana cost. So I don't have to pay its mana cost. Uh, look at the top five cards. I can reveal a creature or land. Put it in my hand. Rest on the bottom end. Is this a ban room. card? Yes, this is a now. This card Makes is sense. understandably very bad. It's it's a Yu-Gi-Oh card in Magic. <laughs> I mean, not even that. Like, if Yu-Gi-Oh had this kind of thing, I think even they would be like, mm, Oh no, but I whiffed! Oh no, I didn't find one! <laughs> you didn't get a creature or a land? A creature or a land. Oh no! Oh no! All right, well, it says in a random order, and I did just take a look. Oh, you shouldn't waste the land, the mana on it. You're right, you're right. And it, if nothing else, it fills the graveyard for becoming this, so, you know, it's that there is the. Oh, bu 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. Getaxium Probe. So I'm going to take a look at your hand, then I'll draw a card. All right! Here you are, my friend. You face your death. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. May I? Yes. All right, so grab I mean, you can look at it, so I don't really care. Transmute. Okay, good. So what's the transmute for? To get other Grothals? Grothals? I can't say it. Uh, let's see. You said it's for any other nine costs, right? Yes, anything else that's nine. Uh, I think, well, no, Storm Type Leviathan is eight, so... Uh, almost. Uh, uh, Inkwell so, Leviathan might be nine. I think so. Yeah, I think he's seven and two. Okay, here we go. I'll draw a card. Okay. Oh, 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 oh no. That was the card. I already picked it out. That's... The, it's a good thing this is not tournament, folks. Okay, so this is a yeah. We hyphen. got a judge breathing down <laughs> his shoulders oh, too. No. I already set the card I was set to draw aside, and then I drew from the top of the deck. Oops. This is a Pendle Haven. Do you want me to shuffle it? Uh. Well, first of all, I don't know what Pendle Haven means. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, people just say card names, and I'm just like, what Tell does what, that mean? It's not about to matter because I'm about to fetch anyway. But you know what? You know, like I said, not tournament legal. Right. I don't care. You're good. Go for it. All right. All right, Up. quest. Untap. Yes. Uh, trigger. Thrumming bird. There's one. Are we doing D&D Tuesday? Oh, and it's Thrumming bird, oh, too. So you're about to... Oh, no. You're about to do it. Oh, no. I'm about to hit you oh, with no. it. Oh, no. I'm about to do the combo. Do it. Do it. Thrumming bird. Thrumming bird. So next turn, if he hits a creature on his upkeep, he's going to go to two. Then he'll hit me, proliferate, go to three, and then he'll get Grozoth or something silly. All right. I'm going to fetch. See, now it doesn't matter. So that's Pendlehaven. It's a land that makes it pumps my creatures. Gotcha. Right. But so it doesn't it doesn't matter, thankfully. Is Pendlehaven man? Pendlehaven is not, no. Okay. I mean, like, yeah, I'm gonna ask that question a lot now. <laughs> no worries. So the band cards in the deck are that's mental misstep. You saw once upon a time. You saw a taxi and probe, that's banned. Like this deck has some Iffy, maybe they could be banned cards, but uh, Mental Misstep is not one. That one is definitely banned worthy. That, this thing is good, oh, good god. That's, that's way too. And Ponder. Um, hey, let's, let's just get our breeding pool out. Let me find our breeding pool first. There you are. There you are. Breeding pool. What a name. What a name. Alright, there we go. Thank you, thank you. Woo! Drop. Uh, Alright. Ink Moth. Glistener Elf. Pass turn. Okay. Alright, please don't hit a creature. Untap. Please don't hit a creature. Please don't hit a creature. I hit no! <laughs> no! Creature! No! Creature! Oh, no! Yeah, I, <laughs> I think we're in trouble, folks. Hey, what was that blue? What was that card the deck traded for that bird uh, last night? Blue, Yo. Bodily and Wandor. Okay. Blue, Overwhelming Apprentice. All right, so I will mill two. Mm -hmm. And then I will scry two. Okay. 
Mm. Oh, he's gonna stand on top in that order. Twenty-two for one. In the air. Kakate, come, come at me, bro. Oh, oh, oh! Are you sure right, about that? We, what do we got? What do we got? Into um, turn. what do we Storm got? Storm Tower to then. All right, only creatures with oh, island walk or flying can attack, right? Curtis. Yes. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay then. Pass turn. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. I do have. I have islands. to pass because it happens at the end. Yeah, my that's right. That's right. That's right. I'm so used to being able to for people to do silly stuff even after that. Yeah, this is not one of those blue decks. No, you're right. You're right. All right, breeding pool shock. Oh, Ink moth nexus. Not flying. Yeah, it does have flying, so it can attack. I, I, I recommend you block. Yeah, luckily I have a flying blocker. Yep. Yep. Scale up. Alright. Hiya! Yep, that works. Alright, pass turn. Alright. Hey, Emon Nessa goes away. Yes, it stops being a dude. It stops being a dude arena. Alright. Untap? Yes. Trigger? Creature? <laughs> ah, okay, well. It after, doesn't matter. After three, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but still. Four will always be on the opposite side of three. For whatever that's worth. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'll play my judges familiar. Hi. Stop playing flying creatures. <laughs> no. And I'll swing at you for eight. And I you... can't block it. I cannot block it. I'm about to die to a quest for Ula's Temple. And then uh, in step. Why did I suggest Rose Thrumming off. Bird? Why did I suggest Rose Thrumming off. Bird? I can search my library for any number of cards that have converted mana cost nine, reveal them, and put them into my hand. So he's going to get <laughs> any number of them. Gee, I wonder. I wonder. Inkwell Leviathan, right? I think that's nine. Uh, Inkwell? Isn't Inkwell Leviathan yep, nine? Yep, it's seven and yeah, two. Yeah. Yep, there we go. I was trying to remember because I used to run in uh, Reanimator and Legacy. Oh, heck, yeah, that was a Reanimator thing, too. That used to be in Vintage because it's an artifact creature, so you could tinker for it. Then Blightsteel Colossus came around and, you know. Uh, yeah, no. Hmm, hmm. I'll get another grows off just because. That's a no. That's a good idea. As many as you have. Yeah, where's my other inkwell life? And I know I have another one. You didn't take one out, did you? I shouldn't have. Hmm. Uh, let's say he, he yelled uh, let me, let me there it is. Save you some time. I, I lose. <laughs> let me <laughs> save you some time there. Let's go to game three. Yeah, there's. This thing's <laughs> meant to go yaw. Yeah. <laughs> Also, ooh, oh! Hoo, 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 hoo. God, sorry. Mark, go! <laughs> I actually took out my distortion strikes, so uh, I, I did not have a chance sorry to Sorry about that, people it. at home. Oh, man. Did it's you like, get your arm hung on the cord or something? Uh, I was moving my foot. I was oh. like, bringing it down from the chair because I was sitting on it. And oh, then, yeah. Yeah, uh, the, the seatbelt side. <laughs> I'm glad I was here. Yes, thank you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated. Normally that's my job, the guy with like the dab reflexes. Mm -hmm. Got the video on the channel of Evangeline uh, falling, like I'm on the ground rolling around and she trips on me and I just like instantly <laughs> get my arm out to catch her. <laughs> ah, that's uh, precious. Unfortunately the only problem with Waker Waves is that I can't play it, play it through the question. Oh, it's a whale! Yeah. Oh no, it's a whale! Oh! Whales don't count for it. Yep, it's Krakens, Leviathans, Sea Serpents, and, and whales octopus. and Octopodes, yeah. Octopuses. Yeah. yeah well, sir. You got a place out of those now. I'll pay for well, it. So you're good. Yeah. Oh dude, thank you. You paid for it? Mm -hmm. You can pull out on my store credit, I don't mind. No, there's only like a dollar something. I believe you. <laughs> well, okay. Um, I mean, give you something else to build a room. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean it could still be useful, but like the point of this is that you want your big things to be able to be brought up with Ua. I okay, so I play those in standard. I, I'm not even kidding. I actually play a, well. It's not four of. It's it's a two of. But I play a two of in standard, in a deck that uses Luca. The, so uh, that makes sense. yeah. So if it's in your hand, you can use it to What's discard. What's Luca? To find. He's a planeswalker from Macoria, uh, mono yep. red, I believe. Yep. 
Um, I couldn't tell you his abilities, I've never played him. One of his abilities, the one that matters for this, is that you exile a creature, and you reveal cards from the top of your deck until you hit a creature with a higher CMC converted mana cost than the one that you just exiled. So if you exile gotcha. three, it'll keep going until it hits a creature that's greater than three. So you exile, in, in this deck, everything is three, except Waker of Waves and Pursued Whale. And then you, I imagine you do stuff with the exiled creatures? Yeah, yeah. So if you, uh, if you have it in your hand, you use it to just, like, find Luca or find one of your creatures or something. If you don't have it in your hand, then it can, go, Luca can go through and get you a Waker of Waves. And he's a big beater. Yes. That, like, dumb down the opponent's creatures. Yes, which matters for tokens and stuff like that. The other card is Pursued Whale, which is an 8-8. Isn't that the Moby Dick one you made? It is the Moby Dick one. It creates a token on your opponent's side. It creates a red pirate, I think, that can't block and forces all your opponent's creatures to attack each turn. So they have to attack into your 8-8 you just made. It's so it's so silly. Attack me, you bastard. <laughs> yep. There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy of Tea. The winds blew hard, her bow dipped down. Blow me, bully boys, blow. This no one, no one? No one's joining in? Soon this may it's like the way with them come to bring us... Why am I telling you this? You all watch him, you know this. One day... <laughs> When the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. Thank you, thank you. Gonna make a make a metal version, dude. You're in a band. <laughs> it's your responsibility to make a metal version of that. I'm sure somewhere out there is like, chin up. Five, six, <laughs> no, probably. I would probably. Seven. <laughs> nice. I'll keep. Power metal, Wellerman. Let's go. Uh, we'll keep. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I assume you're yeah, on yeah, the play. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I would like to be on the play. So we're going to go with Once Upon a Time. Please don't miss this time. Please. Miss, miss, miss. No, it didn't miss. Okay. No matter what, at least it didn't miss. <laughs> All right. We're going to go and take Pendlehaven. Gotcha. Whee! Random order. Random order. Let's go. It, it won't matter, but whatever. I'm about to shuffle anyway, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, we're about to... Well, you know what? You know what? Hmm. Yeah, we're going to play the Pendlehaven, even though I just showed you that. Uh, Chrome Mox. We're going to imprint Ponder onto it. This is a band card, but it's only one of in the deck. So imprint, when it enters the battlefield, when it comes into play, I can remove a non-artifact, non-land card. So, Ponder. It'll now make any color that is in the cost for this. So it'll make blue. I'm going to pick up my uh, Chrome Moxes for 12 way back when. Oh, man. Instead of the, what, like 160 for the playset now? Jeez. Yeah, that's like... What? Blagent. Fast turn. How much is that? Per That's car? a lot. Jeez. Uh, One sixty divided by forty. Four? Yeah. I mean, it. For, yeah. Four why? times four is. Yeah, because four times four is sixteen. So is yeah, it, forty is bucks it an card. Is EDH card? I, mean, I know it plays in Legacy, but Legacy's not played much anymore. So. Uh, all the Legacy pieces uh, are going up. Drop. Yeah, is it because of like buyers on the yeah you know, trying to yeah like nobody's playing right now so yeah. it's all like getting held on to driving the process up. Oh, I hate that. See the problem. Legacy Masters, please. <laughs> problem is that's unblockable. Yeah, yeah. That is so. Stop me if you heard this one before. Quest for Ula's Temple. Do you know it? <laughs> <laughs> This card is broken! Alright, just... It's the best banned card in my deck. Alright, I guess. Just kill me. <laughs> I mean... I mean, you're gonna. We're almost there. Yeah, we got there. We got there off the top. Yep, there you go. <laughs> in fact, in go fact. swing. Pendlehaven. Yeet, yeet. Yeet, yeet. You won with a quest for Ula's Temple, though. That was pretty cool. In No Valence Modern. Does so this familiar? Oh, there we go. Strong card of Viathan. Island, island. All right, wizards, Thunderbird. wizards. Petition so, to get Waker of Waves turned into a Leviathan so that he can use it in his deck. He's place. basically a, that's a Leviathan. It that's might as a, well be. You're right. I mean, oh. literally, that's what well, the definition of Leviathan is. It's pretty much a whale. <laughs> there. Uh, so, what was What's your reasoning behind uh, not playing uh, Blazing Shoal? 
Oh, so everyone expects Blazing Shoal. Everyone and their mother expects that when you play Infect in No Banless Modern, you play Blazing Shoal. Okay. I wanted to do something different, I guess. Next time I'll play Blazing Shoal, I just wanted to do... Plus, it gives me access to green a little bit more readily, and so that gives me Oko. Um, and Oko's in the sideboard. I never got to show it off, but Oko's in here. You're not running Force Integrations either, are you? No, because my combo goes off on my turn instead of my opponent's, so I don't get as much out of Force of Negation. Sure. And I'm just questing. Yeah, yeah. I actually thought about that for uh, like a Fairies deck using Chrome Mox so that you can do like turn one spell Spellstutter Sprites and just never let the opponent play, things like that. Uh, but that, or Gifts Ungiven, where, you know, a deck where you can go off on your opponent's turn. Heck, ad nauseum even. If you want to play ad nauseum, that's a th that's not. I mean, there's better cards you can play. <laughs> there's better decks you can play, but that's a thing. Like storm, storm is way better. <laughs> play storm instead. Yeah, yeah. storm gets preordained. You preordain, ponder, and write a flame seething song and everything else. I guess. <laughs> Trust me, I play it against yep. storm pretty much every week. Yep. You it's, haven't uh, played against no bandless storm though. No, it's that's it's, fair. it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> It, there's a reason why so many decks have Chalice in the main board. Oh man, it's 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 tough. It's tough to deal with. I remember the one time I played against Storm, one time I played against Storm and Pioneer, and he this guy he was playing Storm, and you remember it? It, it was mm -hmm. Thomas. Yeah. Oh, it, you mean Modern? Oh, was it Modern? Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. It was Modern. Because yeah. he was on uh, Eight Rack. That's yeah, right. I was playing eight rack and I sided in way line of the void. First game, yep. first game I sided in, I got one, and then the second, the third game, he set, he took seven cards from the top of my deck and just put them down and was just like, "That's your hand," and he said, "That's <laughs> now eagle." I pick it up, I get two way line of the voids against a storm deck. I would, I would, okay, I, sorry, I, I was listening. But just to show this off, I would keep this hand. It has land and three noble hierarchs. I would I would make it work. I don't know how, but I would make it work. Yeah, that that will do it, dude. That'll do it. Leyline is silly, but uh, yeah, that's one. Yeah. Oh, did it work? Oh, it really worked out. Oh, it worked out. Because the the land the the land's a lot harder to take out than the. What was I gonna get without yeah. the? What was I gonna get about uh, the ponders there? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yet, without the ponder, I really wish I could just errata that to be a leviathan. Jeez. It's a, why is it a whale? Why is it a whale? I mean, is uh, there like any... Here, it's, it's yours, by the way. Thank you. Like, no problem. Let me look up the leviathan, the chaoses, and see if there's anything good. We'll make it work. The, the idea is you want to try to use cards, like, like how adventure cards have two modes. There's the creature and the non-creature. This one kind of has two modes. It's the dead in your hand and actually a creature <laughs> mode. Um, I was hoping we might be able to make that work, but... Yeah, let's look up Gatherer, not Wizards. Yes, 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 all right.